Hey there, and welcome to Res5 Industries. Today I'm going to show you how I engrave on my 5 watt Creality Falcon. So we're starting out with light burden here. I'm going to try something simple and we're just going to do some text. So I'm going to put my text in here and let's just do the name of our channel. Cool. Now let me actually select this so I can move it. Let's center it on the thing. And 100 by 46 millimeters, about 10 by 4 centimeters. It won't be big, but it'll be good enough for what we're doing. So the next question is, let's look at a preview. And this is just going to be engraving around on the outside. Do we want to do that, or do we want to have something a little bit more solid? To go solid, we can change this from line mode to fill mode. Looking at this here in preview, now looks a little better. It's nice and solid. Do I like that font though? Let's see, can we change it? Let's do something a little fancier, shall we? Let's go a little scripted here. Make this a little wider. 100 by 58, that should be fine. Now if we look at a preview, that looks pretty cool. Speed and power, I'm gonna stick with maybe, let's go 20% for power and 6,000 for speed. It's pretty standard for engraving. I think it'll be fine. And now all we need to do left is export our G-code. We have our removal disk here. We're going to call this res v and save our G-code. And that's it. Now we bring it to the engraver. Now that we have our file ready, we're going to want to stick it in the engraver. So first we're going to make sure our power switch is off. Because there's no point in having it on right now. So it's off. Now we move on to sticking it in. There's an SD card slot on the right hand side. We're just going to stick that right in there. I'm going to be using just a leftover piece of wood that I had from another project. Just a little thin piece of uh, plywood. And it'll work perfect for what we're doing. So I'm going to set it down here. And what we're going to want to do first, which actually I think works better if it's powered down. Oh, the whole thing moved on this. While it's powered down, the first thing we're going to do is move the arm over and have it over the piece we're going to be cutting. Now, there is a little lever on the side here that is magnetically held. When it drops down, you want it to be touching, just barely touching the surface you're going to be engraving. Right now we're about a couple millimeters high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo these two locking nuts, or locking screws, and drop this till that is just barely touching. And once that's done, I'm going to lock these back into place, flick that back up, and that automatically will have us at the right height. So now, I'm going to power this back on. Once it's powered on, I can press the button once. It's going to home out to its uh, center point, and it's going to go out to where it thinks that the laser bed is going to be. And it's going to start drawing an outline. What I'm going to want to do is I'm going to move this piece around until the engraving is roughly where I want it to be. Up just a hair. All right, I think that's good. Now, safety first, and we're going to hit start. So I can tell right now, just from watching it go so far, I did not have my power settings uh, high enough. I had about 20%. I'm going to have to raise it up again. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this finish. We are going to not touch it at all. I'm going to go bring the SD card back over into my computer, raise the power settings, and we'll do another pass on it. 
because I didn't touch the bed at all, it will be able to pass over the exact same spot and we shouldn't really notice the difference. As you can see, it's there, it's just a little light. We're gonna adjust these power settings and try again. All right, let's try this again. SD card in, power on. Safety first. It's gonna do our check. It's gonna be in the same spot as before. And already I can tell this is looking a lot better. And we're all done. Let's take a look at it. Now, we could probably go a little darker if we wanted to on this. It didn't really indent in too much. If we wanted to increase the power level a little more, and if we wanted to slow it down, it would probably make it darker. It would probably leave a little bit more of an indentation in here. But I'm pretty happy with how that turned out overall. And every piece of wood is different as well. But this is a basic tutorial of how I laser engrave wood and other things as we get to them. Thank you.